All right, people. Welcome back. More vitamin Y. So today is uh, Tuesday, and that means that we are using Labradite Bell. I do not have a lot of time for this video. I'm actually really busy today. Uh, I had an entire month to do my classwork, and it is due today. So, yeah. So hopefully, while this video is rendering, I can you know get it done, and then I'll be golden to procrastinate for another month. How does that sound? <laughs> anyway, Labradite Bell. Let's go ahead and do it. Let's combo it up. Alter my reprints nice. I don't know. I might make this deck in real life. It's fun. Like I said, it's it's really fun. Just being able to go ahead and summon the multiple synchro monsters and shit. I, I have no complaints when it comes to this deck. I find it really, really fun. So mm, I'm trying to think how good this hand is. I go pitch, but if I want more dark I could I could go off this turn, first turn, but mm mm. Cause I got I'd have to go pitch special. Dark Breath or the better. The normal summon. Nah, I can't. I can't. I can't go off first turn. That sucks. That sucks. That can't, it sucks that I can't just go completely and utterly just stupid off first turn. I just, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to take it a little bit slower, people. I have to take it a little bit slower. So we'll just go ahead and. Uh, damn, I wish I had one more dark. This Regeki is nice and all, but you know, if one more dark monster, I could have went off because I could have went pitch special, pitch send Labradite, normal summon send. Maui, make Emerald detach, summon uh, Labradite, Maui, summon Maui, set, I mean, go notes my set, and bam. So, like I said, I could have went oof, oof, first turn, but instead we'll just have to settle for just slow, mediocre play. One has two cards in the extra deck, 47, no, 48 card deck. No idea what the hell you're running. Maybe Infernoids? Nah, even Infernoids more, run more in the extra deck than that, I don't know. I don't know. Everything catches me off guard when you don't run enough cards in the extra deck. It's just like, why? Like, I don't even care what deck you're running. I don't care if you're running Burn. I don't care if you're running Zodia. You should always have your toolbox on you. It's good to have your toolbox. Always good to have your toolbox. What's happening to Blue Eyes? It just went to the graveyard all of a sudden. Are you activating something to put it in the graveyard or something? I'm so lost. What are you doing? What? How? Still lost. Cannot attack this turn. It's summoned. They control Tomb World and your opponent controls no two monsters. Card can This card attacks. How, how did you summon that? Tell me, how did you summon that? As pierce damage and attacks. It says nothing about being able to just pitch in special. Like. If you're just a, if you're just a fucking scrub that doesn't know how you play Yu-Gi-Oh, go ahead and tell me right now. It looks like you are because you're playing shit like Blue Eyes and Tomb, and then you summon this just wrong. Like I have no idea. You know what? You know what? Yeah, I don't feel. Like I, don't, I don't feel like teaching you Yu-Gi-Oh. Right now, <sighs> I don't. I don't. I'd, I'd rather just go ahead and get a decent video and then go ahead and teach my opponent how to play Yu-Gi-Oh. You guys didn't know you could just go ahead and pitch a tune and some random blue eyes summon fucking tune ancient gear golem and shit like that. You guys didn't know that. God, you guys are fucking scrubs, man. You guys are fucking noobs. Like, dude, that guy is fucking pro, dude. I could have swore I saw him at the fucking tabletop tables at Worlds. Fucking, just, what the fuck are you talking about, man? That man's a fucking pro. No, but seriously, I do not have time to teach you Yu-Gi-Oh. Like I said, I'm already making this video probably short, especially with how long Daily Duels and DM Duel commentary are for what is going up today on Tuesday. I just, I don't, I don't, I can't EM. I don't have enough time to teach anybody Yu-Gi-Oh. I apologize. I apologize. You guys are probably like, what? Like, really? You don't have time? No, I don't. <laughs> not at all. I still got to do my homework, so... And my homework is definitely not teach some scrubs how to play Yu-Gi-Oh! Or some noobs how to play Yu-Gi-Oh! It's definitely not my homework. So, this opponent, my opponent here has no extra deck, which is just like, what? Like, why Why you have no extra deck? So, open up pretty well. Open up Regeki again. I mean, like I said, Regeki is such a good card. It's just, I, I don't need it right now. <laughs> I don't need it. I need to get me a Regeki in real life. I don't have one in real life. I need to get me one. Hopefully, the... The list will be coming up soon. OCG just got their list, so hopefully we'll get our list soon. 
Hopefully. That's all you can ask for. Hopefully. Going to the back rail. Like I said, I could probably go completely off this turn, but it depends on his back row. It really does. It depends on his back row. I still don't know why you have no, absolutely no extra deck. But like I said, it really comes down to what all this back row is. If it's like solemn warning and shit to negate my effects and all, yeah, yeah, you got it. But if not, I, I could, this turn, I could pull off a double ultimate play. I'm going to go ahead and send Mali. I can go Silver Sky Summon, Mali Summon, Ultimaya. Silent Doom Summon. Summon with the other melee. Yeah, I can I can I can go and double to my play this turn. It just like I said, I don't trust that back row. Definitely do not trust that back row. And so I'm gonna go ahead and activate Silent Doom. Target a normal monster, i.e. Labradite. Go ahead and go alley effect. The only thing that's risky about the the double Ultimaya plan is that there's a time period in between the first Ultimaya and the second Ultimaya where I'm susceptible. But I guess I'm really I'm just susceptible to all my plays this turn. So I'll go ahead and go to Ultimaya because usually I would just go ahead and set a back row and then, you know, bam, be good. I guess I can go ahead and set the Silver's Cry now. Oh, no, I can't because I should have set Silent Doom. I should have activated Silver's Cry set Silent Doom, because if I set Silver's Cry, I can't fucking play it, so. And that would be bad. That was my bad. I misplayed. So, if I lose this, it's my fault. I misplayed. Because I could have set the Silent Doom and then played the Silent Doom. So, set Silent Doom, get the first ultimate effect, play the Silent Doom, summon, go to the second ultimate, and then set the Call of the Haunted. So, my bad. So, let's just go ahead and lock him with double ultimate. I said, with that reprint, uh, not, I'm not sure how expensive regular Ultima is, like, you know, before it's reprint, but, you know. <clears throat> I'm never really a big fan of making them. At this point, effects. Effects, actually, effects. Um, I'm thinking, I'm feeling kind of scrappy, kind of bulesy, I don't know. Actually, I know, I'm kind of feeling scrappy, void ogre -y. No, 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 mmm, no, scrappy bulesy. Scrappy Billsy. I was, feeling, I was thinking about going Scrap Void Ogre, both of them, and then sending them to Regeki, but I could just hold on to Regeki for next turn. So, I'm gonna go ahead and go Scrap Effect. Get rid of this for some random back row. It doesn't matter. It's a Monarch card. Alright. Scrap, go ahead and attack. I really don't care what happens to you. Sure. And like I said, I don't care what happens to you, Scrap Dragon. Not at all. Just sucks I can't revive you with that Call of the Haunted, huh? <laughs> go ahead. Now next turn, if you, if you don't get rid of my ultimize. I'm going to set this Regeki. Hopefully you have Regeki. I'm going to set this Regeki and they're both going to go off and I'm, yep. Yeah. Alright. And I'm going to pretty much go off. <laughs> Maybe another scrap, probably a scrap and Void Ogre. Give, just clean up all that back row. Who cares? So I was thinking there was a Mirror Force, Mirror Force, Mirror Force, Mirror Force back there. I was thinking that there was going to be, but like I said, I didn't care. Scrap sort of just purpose. Wow, Geki, all fucking duels. Wow, and I drew the, the Labradite. It's really bad. I never want to draw the Labradite. That's like one of the worst draws I can get. I'm going to have to do a kind of unorthodox play, but I can still pull something off. I'm going to have to send the fucking Mally. I'm not going to set the cards. I'm just going to go ahead and then. I'm going to go Mally, Banner, Summon Mally, Tribute that Mally, Summon Labradite, Mally, Banner, Summon Mally. It would be a waste, but at least I can pull out an ult ult my next turn, and then go ahead and set the Oasis. Actually, actually, if I would have set the Oasis this turn, I could have went off with the double ult my No, no, I couldn't. Never mind, never mind. Never mind, I'm getting, I'm getting all mixed up. Wait, I just noticed this is the same fucking guy. I just noticed that. I just noticed that. 
Like, I didn't notice it until he summoned the fucking double cost, 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 costume. But it's the same fucking guy. He missed the feat. And instead of offering rematch, he just jumps right back in. Like, what the fuck? I just noticed that it's this guy. Like, say what? Well, I mean, at least I know some of your background, so. How's that? Uh, instead of, you could have just said, all right, rematch, you know? But instead, you wanted to go ahead, admit defeat, leave, and then reduel. That's really weird. Such a waste of a play, but if I don't get a dark raffer, it's probably one of the best plays I could po possibly pull off right now. Such a waste. Such a waste. I feel dirty just even doing this place. Go ahead and go to Tomorrow. Go ahead and set. Fact. Go ahead and summon that Beals, because I know he plays Mirror Force, and I can't go Void Ogre right now. Oh. Okay. Well, it's technically still set. That's fine. I still get my effect. Because I set it. Ultimaya effect. MST chain. So, chain resolves backwards, but I still resolve Ultimaya effect. So, that doesn't do anything. Alright. Alright. MST's resolved. You can get rid of that. That's gone. That's done. That's done. Uh, just go ahead and have Bills kill your double custom, even though I don't have to really worry about you XCing. You have an extra deck. I don't know why. And I really don't feel like setting the call haunted, but I guess I could. I would say. Could I go next? I cannot go. Another Ultimaya, so. Yeah. I don't have the Bell or anything in the graveyard. I'm gonna get a Night Misses Timing, because it says when, not if. It's called, if this card was summoned, then hell yeah. One, two, two, okay. That's an egg. Well, it's not really an egg. You, you know, but you never let your opponent draw. That's an egg. So, at least I can't do any damage to you. So, I do not like one day. Not even, a, not even a little bit. I took that card out of fuck. Okay. Now, dude, I'm gonna get one more dueling. You better not duel me again. His name was like Ko something. Could and I want to say Kojima, but I have to top my mind. I really don't remember. All right, that's not him. So. So, let's go ahead and get this last duel in. Sorry, the video is a little bit short. Hopefully, this duel doesn't take too long. But like I said, I got homeworks. I need to get my education on that Nevada history of stupidity. Ugh, I opened up disgusting. You know, if this guy completely beats my ass, I got Regeki again. Again, 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 again. Four duels, and I get Regeki every single fucking opening hand. Every single opening hand. That's ridiculous. Wow. Wow. Look at this. Fucking two oasis, two swing. Like, where's where's my... I'm running Summoner Monk. Summoner Monk? No. 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 No Summoner Monk. All right. No reason I'm setting to have too many cards. I should have set... I should have pitched the alley. That's dumb. That was dumb. I was like, oh, no, I don't want to pitch anything in my hand. Bad. This is really bad. And of course, Yang Zing going up popularity. You, you know, a Jeff Jones who? So bad. Yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and scoop it up. I'm just gonna go ahead and scoop it up. For some reason, no I'm getting knife, no dark graphers, no summoner bucks, no nothing. No nothing. Even drawing Labradorite would have been okay. Like, yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and scoop it up. I'm just gonna go ahead and admit defeat. I just opened up so garbage that I might as well just go ahead and scoop it up. We'll go ahead and get another duel, and I apologize for that one, people. I don't know. DN just decided to fuck me good. Like, damn. Like, I run triple dark refer, foolish, triple Armageddon, I triple Rota, triple... Uh, one missing tomato now, because I'm running double summer mug, because there's so many spells in here. Fuck it, I'll pitch a spell to go ahead and summon for consistency's sake. One more duel. One more duel. I apologize. I meant the duel was like... Seconds. <laughs> I said, I just need a little bit of Armageddon night in my life. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think. 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 Like I said, if I love all the chain, I could go off. But without love all chain, literally, monk just helps me with my consistency just a little bit. 
Uh, she probably, I mean, I'm like I said, my, my, my deck is really stretched to resources, it really is. But maybe it'd be nice to go ahead and put like, uh, maybe like a floater or something like that in here. It would be terrible. I can go summon Runk, pitch the Rota, summon the Armageddon Knight, send Labradite, XC them to like something stall, but literally I could just go into Emerald, and Emerald can summon me back Labradite. But you know. But he'd have to get rid of the Labradite, which at least has a 24 booty. It's not bad. Alright, fuck it. I put it in here. This Rex Assistance is Let's go ahead and actually use it to its full extent. It just sucks that I'm, if shit is the thing, I'm gonna be wasting my Emerald to say the least. But, sure. I'll go ahead and pitch Rota, because I'm going to summon the warrior monster anyway, then I'm going to search. Unless I'm searching Dark Upper. But I'm not. I'm just going to go ahead and summon Armageddon Knight. Armageddon Knight, go ahead and get your effects. That Labradite. Now the question is, do I want to just leave it like this? I could just leave it like this, really. If I have a level chain... Actually, even if I had a level chain, I don't... I wouldn't have first channel to my... I could just send the Mali, which I didn't hurry up, but I have Armageddon Knight, so I could take the... It will turn slower than I usually would. So you know what? Fuck it. Let's just go ahead and go into Emerald. And I'm thinking about setting one, just in case he kills my old, my lab guy, and just go activate summon Mally, summon it, and set the Oasis. So we'll set one. Fourteen extra deck. Forty-eight card deck. Oh, Dragon Chain. It's not good. So. So he's gonna go ahead and so discard a card to send a Dragon type monster. So it's second effect too, so he's gonna send a Dragon type monster. Okay, I don't know what you're doing. Fucking Lord of D. Damn, he gonna go Lord of D. Fucking Blue Eyes Power. Okay, like I said, either or. You pretty much have to kill both of them, because if you don't kill Labradite, if you kill Emerald, but don't kill Labradite, I'm good. If you kill Emerald, but don't kill Labradite, I'm good. I mean, or if you kill Labradite, don't kill Emerald, I'm good. So either way, I'm fucking golden. Another Rota. Now I'm getting all the Rotas and shit. That's fine, though. Well, because you didn't kill my uh, Labradite, I can go for double Ultima this turn, because I can go ahead and send Mally, summon. Activate Lemon Reverse, summon, 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 set. So, is that one piece of back row or something to stop me? You got me, but if not, I'm about to go stupid. I'm about to go stupid. Double, double fucking Ultimae to Zorkin. You guys know I love Ultimae. It's, it's a really fun card. Like, as soon as it came out, I'm like, oh, that, that seems like it'll be pretty fun. And it's a, it's a fun card, you know. I don't like Graveyard Reliant decks so far because Wobble Chain is banned, but I've just been having so much fun with this deck, even over Supervised people, even over Supervised. Even over Supervised people. Button some of you. I like that, like this, this, some of the synergy, it's just so good. Like, Lemur Reverse is fun for you, Bell, but it's also fun for fucking Labradite, it's fun for Mally, like. I can just go off, and you guys know I like going off. That stays. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, set this. Both their effects. I'm thinking about. I'm feeling kind of billsy scrappy. Billsy scrappy people. Billsy scrappy. Scrap effect. I'm gonna get rid of Armageddon Knight. I really don't care. And pop that for me. Damn, this guy's like, <gasps> you can chain if you want to. You can chain if you want to. You can go ahead and summon that blue eyes back. I don't care, because I'm just going to crash my bills into it anyway. Either I'm going to crash my bills into it or run it over, depending on where you pin and attack in defense mode. It doesn't matter. But if you don't want it, I'm, you know, I, I totally don't mind getting more damage in. Hey, you got Silver's Cry too. I also played the Silver's Cry. Alright, I guess you don't want to. So, Bills, get that smack down. So, depending on our draw, depends on what I do next turn. Get that Regeki? Mm hmm. 
hit. It's got a card, it's in the dragon. Yep. Yep. It's got two blue eyes in the grave. Wow. You know that you're gonna lose, right? Hmm. They're all good, but they're all just not necessary right now. Slap the shit out of you. Quavering Synchro Dragon, just in case. Even though Quavering wouldn't have done much, but at least it'll, you know, block me from getting, like, cast out or something. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, call that an episode, so probably that's that one duel where I just got absolute ass in a hat. And that was probably against probably one of the funner duels, because, you know, let's see who's who's the better Synchro deck. Is it, uh... Is it Yang Zing, or is it just Ultimaya with the power of them rank 7-8 dragons? Um, I didn't rank 7-8 dragons, level 7-8 dragons. So. That would have been a pretty good duel if I would have opened up decently, but it was just, ooh. Ooh. Anyway, that's the reset you take when you're on this deck. That's the reason why I'm running Summoner Monk, you know. So, Summoner Monk actually put in that work, you know. He, he, sure, he killed my room, but I already had Labradite. And like I said, you know, you had to kill both. Anyway. And it's not like I'm, I ain't kind of worried, because, you know, I'm worried about Castell. Summon Castell, spin back my Labradite, run over my shit, and just like, oh, god damn it, like, that'd be super terrible. That's the reason why I don't generally do that play when I run Supervise and do that with, uh, Doom Shaman. I'd rather have Doom Shaman in the graveyard where he's safer than on the field where he can get castell and shit, or 101 token, but I usually summon in defense mode, but, so, castell Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and call it, so, I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of Ramen Wise. I will see you guys tomorrow with Shadow Evil. Thanks for watching, thanks for all the support, and, yeah, see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching.